What's going on guys, it's you here bringing you a, another review on Eden Zero. I'm, I know that I'm behind a couple days here. I'm getting back into the groove of things because I was out on vacation for the weekend. And it being 4th of July weekend, obviously having to spend some time with my wife. and um, Definitely a great time, but nevertheless guys, we are back at it. And I definitely enjoyed this episode because it being the first episode of the second half we got a new opening we got a new ending and i actually like them both better than i liked the, the first one like it just wasn't the same with the first one it just wasn't feeling right but this one definitely sounds way better and uh, i love that in this episode not only did we get new stuff with opening and the ending but we also made it a beach relaxation episode it's a great way to start this off but uh, I definitely really enjoyed it. But before I continue, guys, please make sure if you have not already, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. It helps out tremendously to the channel. And the support you guys give is enormous. I love that and I appreciate it ever so much. But let's get to it. So we start this episode actually seeing Justice talking to his fellow members and basically wondering the whereabouts of Elsie and the group of the Eden Zero, which is funny because both of them obviously are in league with each other, but not really. Um, we see that Justice is obsessed with having Elsie brought into Justice, which is funny, but uh, we, we do see new members here, very important members being brought in, and I love that we, had, we got to see them already. And like the voices for them, for me are spot on i actually really enjoy the fact that the voices that they chose sound what i would have pictured for them especially the characters like holy you know i really eraser like i really like characters like that like their voices sound great uh, but uh, we do have them you know showing up and that's important like especially for what's about to come but we actually see the group arriving the Eden zero group arriving to this red cave, uh, this planet that looks like it's fire on the outside, but on the inside, it's mu a lot like a water planet. There's just so much water going in, and of course, the group just has fun. They're all out there enjoying the sun. Uh, I love that they're all having a good time. Like we see them, or we see Hamora and Shiki racing, uh, Shiki playing in the water with uh, Rebecca happy we have which just kind of showing why how she's able to change her skin without really having to tan just having a good time we see sister riding on Moscow which was funny as well just overall a good time and that's something that I really really like you know obviously a feel good kind of chap I mean excuse me it's feel good kind of episode a good way to start everything and we even see how Klein wants to like let let loose a little bit she wants to go out there and have fun with the group and Jin of course lets her and she goes out there and she's in her swimming suit swimsuit with Herman and they're just enjoying themselves and one of the most beautiful like images or I guess you could say panels that were ever in and in zero were animated today as we saw that Rebecca actually wanted to be lifted up or she wanted Shaky to record uh, some of the views that were being seen and we see, how, we see how she just picks her up and it's like all right just come on like it's, it's a lot better for you to see it yourself rather than me just recording and I will say I love how it looked like the rain looked like it was just rain but it was actually ether which was kind of cool but we then see something falling from the sky it looked, looked like a maybe a little meteor of some sorts but it lands into the water and they go out to investigate it and as they go down there and they're kind of uh, suspicious of what it could be they're able to talk to each other and breathe underwater with this necklace which honestly would be really cool if it actually existed but we have them arriving to the scene of the crash and we find out that what's in there is a person now uh, unfortunately this person's already dead and uh, who knows how long it's been but one of the interesting things about this uh, uh, 
person is that in the craft we actually see them writing a message or have a message written saying Nadia the love of my life which is the name of the episode and we realized that whoever this was they were probably trying to reach their destination uh, unfortunately we do have them having a situation where they run into this octopus uh, of course uh, it's kind of funny uh, where everyone gets captured except for Shaky because he actually tried to use his uh, ethical ability and he ends up floating away because of gravity but he ends up saving everybody thankfully and they're, they're able to get out they arrive into this temple and what was strange about this temple is that it looked like it had one of these like ar like archaeological like I don't know if you could, how do you want to call it like hieroglyphics excuse me that looked like it had mother on it and so they get into this temple and it realizes that there it's no waters in there but it has special properties which allows them to be inside without having to you know be in the water and then they find this robot whose name is Nadia and we see how Rebecca clicks with everything that's going on so Really nice episode, a good little way to introduce her, and uh, I look forward to it. But guys, thank you for watching. If you guys have enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, all that good jazz, and I'll catch you all later.